man, a bunch of you guys have asked me questions about what I've done to my rig. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and answer those questions while I have some time. All right. So in a previous video, I had a uh, Canon aftermarket air intake running over here. And the problem was it was throwing lean codes in my truck all the time because it's just, it's just not optimal. There's too much air getting in and it wasn't dyno tuned. So I got rid of it and I put this factory kit back in and I've had zero problems with it since. But we're missing some things. There's no battery, right? So the batteries are in the cab and I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But let me explain what I've got here. So first, um, this is an oil filter. It's just a, uh, a remote um, oil filter satellite kit, a lot of people call it. I have a sandwich plate down, way down below and these uh, hoses run up here and I just have it mounted to the manifold and it makes changing the oil so much easier um, uh, that was pretty cheap I don't know I think you got it on Amazon but this uh, fuse right here this goes to I think this goes to the starter yeah it's 200 amps and this power distribution block right here goes to the ECU right here um, or the relays and the other one goes to, I believe it goes to, the other one goes to the alternator, I believe. Um, yeah, anyway, there's one right there, so, and this one right here runs into the cab where one of, where both of the batteries are. Um, I've got quite a bit of wires over here. These go to some fog lights that I have down below. You can see them right there. There's the other one. And this is a waterproof. Um, fuse and relay kit goes to the, the fog lights and it also goes to this um, fuse box right here. This is a Blue Sea Systems fuse box. Now I have this going to my radar detector. Um, what else? I have a dash cam and there's a few other items in there. I don't necessarily remember what for, but I'm sure when they stop working, I'll find out. And these are all those illuminated fuses that light up. Um, Let's see. So, I'm not going to cover the rest of this stuff. Um, is there anything else in there? I don't think so. Anyway, let's take a look inside. Okay, so now we're back. Um, let's see. There's a dash cam right there. This is pretty dope, too. Never got one. That's not on right now, so I can't turn it on. Um, it switched power. There's my. Radar slash laser kit um, detector. If you have the money, I highly recommend getting one of those because it has saved my ass a bunch of times and allows me to go 90 miles an hour in California on I-5 where everybody goes well over the speed limit anyway. Um, that mirror, it's uh, basically the same kind the Tundras have. It's an uh, electronic automatic uh, darkening one or dimming one. So I don't have to flip it anymore. And okay, here, there's my amp. It's a 1000 watt Alpine. Um, there's a subwoofer, it's 8 inch shallow mount. And the reason I wanted that because I can take advantage of the storage space that's there. I didn't want to put this big ass subwoofer box, it, that's useless. And this thing, it sounds great, so there's no need for anything other than this. Um, I built this box right here and then carpeted it. So what I got there is one of those Blue Sea Systems um, solid state relay. And it combines both batteries once, I think 15, 20 seconds um, have elapsed and um, they're receiving a charge. So it'll combine both of them and they both remain at the same charge. Um, I have a, a big red switch, a lot of people will call it. So if I have a dead battery, I can just combine them and self jump right there. Never had to use it. But um, I also had a, um, what do you call it? Uh, a remote starter kit installed, which is tricky with a, a five speed because normally they're designed for automatics. But um, I can use it and I'll show you why I got it in just a moment. That little switch right there is pretty cool because when the radar detector starts going off, I can just press that button. It'll silence it and if I hold it in, it'll report it because I have it paired with my phone. So it'll report the threat to the um, live database. Okay, there's both of my batteries right there. Um, a lot of people have the Optima yellow tops. These things are pretty dope. So 
I won't have to get rid of them for another seven years. This is my uh, Krieger, I think it's 1100 watt, 1500 watt sine wave, modified sine wave inverter. Now this right here runs into the back and what I have back there is really cool. Hang on. And one other thing I wanted to mention here, you see these two speakers right here? So I have two right there, the two that you normally see right here, that's four, and then the two door speakers. So I got six speakers plus the subwoofer. Um, all six channels are also going through the uh, amplifier. So uh, this thing, this thing sounds pretty fucking good sometimes, depending on what I'm playing. Okay, you remember that um, orange wire I was pointing at in there connected to the inverter? Well, I installed that um, 120 volt outlet right there. And it's also um, ground fault interrupted. So if water gets in there, but that's a waterproof container or box. And then I have that so, switch um, right up there too. So if I'm sleeping back here and I want to remotely turn it on, press that switch right there and it'll activate the inverter. Uh, so I can plug a heater back in here. And then if uh, the inverter goes off because it doesn't have enough power, then um, I can just use the remote starter and start up the truck. It's pretty cool. And I've, I've camped in here plenty of times, taking advantage of that and um, ran the heater back here, space heater. So yeah, it works all right. All right, this is probably my favorite part. So Toyota Tacomas, even third and second gens and the first gens are notorious for having problems with the drive shaft. And as you can see, this is a solid drive shaft I got from Tom Woods, custom drive shafts. So I just installed this yesterday. It took me about an hour. Um, didn't need any help. Did it all on my own. It cost me about $650 out the door and they shipped it to me. So eliminated all the vibration, um, smoother driving now, and I'm really happy with it. I'll show you the old one, hang on. So here is the old factory drive shaft. Uh, I don't know how many miles are in this thing, but it's worn out, look at this. It's a carrier bearing. So it was cool because when this thing was installed, I could turn this thing like this. It had so much free play in it. And this other one now is solid. It's like, it's rigid, it's locked in. None of this shit, no more vibration. So, anyway, that's my Tacoma, basically in a nutshell. These rocker panels, these are Rhino lined. I did that myself, about $600. Uh, these lights are aftermarket. Um, then of course the, uh, grill is also it's all blacked out none of this chrome I don't like the chrome on these things um yeah this is it basically <laughs> it's my truck right there can't really tell much else because it's in my parents garage right now but 250,000 miles and I'll probably never get rid of this thing so cheers happy new year to um 2021